All right, so today we will be practicing English conversations. Here are a few sample conversations. First of all, the speaker one will ask the person to talk. And in return, the speaker two will ask a question. Now the questions can be asked differently. So pay attention. Here's the first conversation. Speaker one, please sit down and talk to me. Speaker two, are you typing a letter? Now, this question can be asked differently with many other patterns. For example, are you painting a picture? Are you reading the paper? Are you watching television? Are you listening to a record? Are you working on something? Are you writing a report? Are you solving a puzzle? And in the reply, the first speaker says, Yes, I am. What are you doing? Now, speaker two, at the moment, I'm looking for someone. Or, at the moment, I'm just walking around. Or, at the moment, I'm just waiting for a friend or at the moment I'm just resting a bit at the moment I'm doing my work at the moment I'm getting ready for dinner at the moment I'm practicing English with you at the moment I'm relaxing for a few minutes so this is how the starting sentence can be used to ask different questions. Now we shall listen to another example. Speaker 1. What do you want to do tonight? Speaker 2. Would you like to watch television? Or would you like to go bowling with us? Or would you like to see a movie? Or would you like to listen to the radio? Or would you like to attend a concert? Or would you like to hear some folk music? Or would you like to go to a play? Or would you like to look for paintings? In the reply, the speaker one says, That would be nice. Speaker two, there's a good program on channel 3. Or, there's a good bowling alley nearby. Or, there's a good show at the corner theater. Or, there is a good comedy station that is WXQZ. Or, there's a good orchestra at the auditorium. Or, there's a good group of musicians at the Star Club. Or, there's a good play which just opened. Or, there's a good art gallery on 8th Street. So, this is how once and tens can be used to ask different questions. Now, we shall listen to a few more conversations. These conversations are related to meeting someone at the train station. Conversation A. Speaker 1, I've got to go to the train station. Speaker 2, what do you have to go for? Speaker 1, to meet my cousin from Washington. Speaker 2, let me take you in my car. Now, conversation B. Speaker 1, did you get to the train station on time? Speaker 2, we did, but we were almost late. Speaker 1. How close was it? Speaker 2. We got on the train just as it was starting. Conversation C. Did your cousin arrive on time? Speaker 2. No, he was an hour late. Speaker 1. Did you meet him at the station? Speaker 2. I was right there on the platform when the train came. Conversation D. Speaker 1. Where's my bag? 
Speaker 2, here it is. Speaker 1, where's my briefcase? Speaker 2, there it is, over there. Conversation E. Speaker 1, do you have your suitcases? Speaker 2, I've got one of them with me. Speaker 1, where are the rest of them? Speaker 2, I checked my two other ones at the baggage room. Now, here are a few lines that can be used differently. I've got to go to the train station. This can be said with I must. I must go to the train station. Or have to. I have to go to the train station. Or ought to. I ought to go to the train station. Or should. I should go to the train station. Or we can also use I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to go to the train station. Now, here are a few questions that can be asked differently. What do you have to go for? This can also be asked, why do you have to go? What did you have to return for? This can be asked as, why did you have to return? What are you going to leave for? This can be asked as, why are you going to leave? What are you going back for? This can be asked as, why are you going back? What will you do that for? This can be replaced with, why will you do that? What have you done it for? This can be replaced with, why have you done it? Now here are a few sentences that can be asked differently. Please let me take you to your car. This can be said as, let me take you to your car. Please let me carry your suitcase. We can also say, let me carry your suitcase. Please let me drive you to school. This can be said as, let me drive you to school. Now, in the first sentence, you may notice that there is please. This is just to seek the permission. Or one is asking for permission. But in the second sentence, it is just straight away asking the person to go with them or let them do the work. Now here's another one. Please let me help you with that. This can be said as, let me help you with that. Please let me return the book for you. Let me return the book for you. Now here in this question, instead of station, you can ask for airport or late arrived the theater early. Here we go. Did you get to the station on time? We can also ask about the airport. Did you get to the airport on time? Or we can ask with late. Did you get to the airport late? Or arrive at? Did you arrive at the airport late? The theater. Did you arrive at the theater late? Or early? Did you arrive at the theater early? Here's another example. We got on the train just as it was starting. Instead, we can use the bus. We got on the bus just as it was starting or before it left. We got on the bus just before it left. The airplane. We can also change to the airplane. We got on the airplane just before it left, a minute or two early. We got on the airplane just a minute or two early. Here's another example. Did your cousin arrive on time? We can ask about the aunt or any other relative. For example, did your aunt arrive on time or uncle? Did your uncle arrive on time or nephew? Did your nephew arrive on time or niece? Did your niece arrive on time or grandmother? Did your grandmother arrive on time? 
So similarly, we can use the same type of question for any other relation about a friend or a relative, anybody. Now here's another example where the question can be asked differently. Did your cousin arrive on time? We can also use the word come. Did your cousin come on time? Or get there. Did your cousin get there on time? Or return. Did your cousin return on time? Or leave. Did your cousin leave on time? Or get back. Did your cousin get back on time? This question can also be asked with late. Did your cousin arrive late? Or too late? Did your cousin arrive too late? Or early? Did your cousin arrive too early? Or before departure? Did your cousin arrive before departure? Few more examples. Instead of cousin, we can also use uncle. Did your uncle arrive on time? And we can use get back. Did your uncle get back on time? Or early? Did your uncle get back early? And we can again change to nephew. Did your nephew get back early? Now here's another line which can be replaced with multiple words. I've got one of them with me. In this line, it's not clear what we have got. Instead, we can use my suitcases. That's, I've got one of my suitcases with me. Or a couple. I've got a couple of my suitcases with me. Or my packages. I've got a couple of my packages with me. Or several. I've got several of my packages with me. Or my things. I've got several of my things with me. Now we will listen to some more conversations. These are about asking questions at the train station. Here's conversation A. Speaker 1. How do you get home every day? Speaker 2. I take the commuter train to Westport. Speaker 1. Isn't it rather expensive going by train? Speaker 2. No. I buy a 20 trip commuter ticket each month. Conversation B. Speaker 1. Can you give me some information? Speaker 2. You're at the right place. Speaker 1. I want to go to Washington. Speaker 2. The next train leaves at 4.30. Conversation C. Speaker 1. How soon does the train leave? Speaker 2. It leaves in 10 minutes. Speaker 1. Do I have time to check my bags? Speaker 2. I don't think you do. Here's conversation D. At what time does the next train leave for the city? Speaker 2. There's one at 4 and another at 4.45. Speaker 1. What's the fare? Speaker 2. It's 8.50 including tax. Conversation E. Speaker 1. How much is the fare to Miami? Speaker 2, $150 round trip. Speaker 1, what time does the next train leave? Speaker 2, the next one leaves at 6.30 on track 31. Now here are a few more conversations that are related to meeting at the airport. Conversation A, Speaker 1, where will you meet your friends? Speaker 2. I'll meet them at the airport. Speaker 1. When will they get there? Speaker 2. I don't know yet. Conversation B. Speaker 1. When are you meeting your friends? Speaker 2. I'm meeting them at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Speaker 1. How are they getting here? Speaker 2, they are coming by air. Conversation C. 
Speaker 1. Is this Southwestern Airline? Speaker 2. Yes, may I help you? Speaker 1. Can you tell me when flight 439 will arrive? Speaker 2. One moment, please. I'll check. Conversation D. Speaker 1. All the incoming flights are listed on that board. Speaker 2. I see they expect Bill's flight to be 20 minutes late. Speaker 1. Do they have an arrival gate listed? Speaker 2. No, they will probably list it about 10 minutes before arrival. Conversation E. Speaker 1. Well, how was your trip? Speaker 2. It was very smooth and fast. Speaker 1. Could you see the mountains from the plane? Speaker 2. Yes. The visibility was excellent all the way. Now, here are a few questions and few statements which can be used differently. For example, where will you meet your friends? Instead of meet, we can use see. Where will you see your friends? Or find. Where will you find your friends? Or wait for. Where will you wait for your friends? Or take. Where will you take your friends? Or drive. Where will you drive your friends? Or leave. Where will you leave your friends? Now here's another question that can be asked differently where will you meet your friends instead of friends we can use cousins or relatives like where will you meet your cousin or relatives where will you meet your relatives or parents where will you meet your parents or brother where will you meet your brother or sisters where will you meet your sisters or uncle? Where did you meet your uncle or aunt? Where did you meet your aunt? Now, instead of friends, we can change it to parents. Where will you meet your parents? And instead of meet, we can change it to see. Where will you see your parents? And instead of where, we can change it to when. When will you see your parents? Again, let's change to cousins. When will you see your cousins? Or we can also use get together with. When will you get together with your cousins? Now here's another example. This statement can be used with different words. Now it's, I'll meet them at the airport. Instead of I will, we can use you will. You'll meet them at the airport or we will. We'll meet them at the airport or she will. She'll meet them at the airport or they will. They will meet them at the airport or he will. He'll meet them at the airport. Now instead of airport, we can use a different word like train station, bus station, terminal. So here we go. I'll meet them at the airport. Instead, we can use the train station. I'll meet them at the train station or the bus station. I'll meet them at the bus station or the terminal. I'll meet them at the terminal or the ticket window. I'll meet them at the ticket window or the entrance. I'll meet them at the entrance. Instead of I will, we can also change it to we will. We'll meet them at the bus station. And instead of meet, we can change it to wait for. We'll wait for them at the bus station. Instead, we can use the ticket window. We'll wait for them at the ticket window. And instead of we will, we can again change it to she will. She'll wait for them at the ticket window or see. She'll see them at the ticket window. Now here's another example. When are you meeting your friends? 
Instead of meeting, we can use seeing. When are you seeing your friends? And instead of friends, we can say visitors. When are you seeing your visitors? Or instead of when, we can also use where. Where are you seeing your visitors? Instead of seeing, we can also use taking. Where are you taking your visitors? Instead of visitors, we can use guests. Where are you taking your guests? Instead of where, we can use why. Why are you taking your guests? Here's another example. I'm meeting them at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. We can also change the time. We can say, I'm meeting them at 8 o'clock tomorrow night or 8.30. I'm meeting them at 8.30 tomorrow night. A quarter to nine. I'm meeting them at a quarter to nine tomorrow night. Or 10 to nine. I'm meeting them at 10 to nine tomorrow night. Or midnight. I'm meeting them at midnight tomorrow night. Now here's another example. Instead of tomorrow night, we can use the morning or a particular day. For example, tomorrow morning. I'm meeting them at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Or Friday night. I'm meeting them at 8 o'clock Friday night. Or Friday morning. I'm meeting them at 8 o'clock Friday morning. Or tonight. I'm meeting them at 8 o'clock tonight. Or this morning. I'm meeting them at 8 o'clock this morning or Tuesday night I'm meeting them at 8 o'clock Tuesday night or instead of I am we can also say we are we are meeting them at 8 o'clock Tuesday night we can also define a time we are meeting them at 8 30 Tuesday night instead of them we can also define a person like her we are meeting her at 8.30 Tuesday night. And we can also use morning. We are meeting her at 8.30 Tuesday morning. Now here are a few conversations about getting information at the airport. Conversation A. Speaker 1. At what time does the next plane to London leave? Speaker 2. The next one is flight 12 at 11.55. Speaker 1, what's the next one after that? Speaker 2, flight 21 at 1.05. Conversation B, Speaker 1, how often is there a flight to Paris? Speaker 2, we have flights to Paris every hour. Speaker 1, are they non-stop flights? Speaker 2, yes, direct to Paris. Conversation C. Speaker 1, could I make a reservation for a flight 10 to Tokyo? Speaker 2, I'm sorry, but everything is taken. Speaker 1, how about the next flight tomorrow at 2 o'clock? Speaker 2, yes. I can give you a reservation on that. Conversation D. I would like to check in for the flight to New York. Speaker 2. Fine. Do you have your ticket and passport? Speaker 1. Yes. Here is my ticket and I'll get out my passport. Speaker 2. Would you please put your baggage on the scales? Conversation E. How long is the flight from New York to Washington? Speaker 2. Well, supposedly an hour, but it's sometimes longer. Speaker 1. How often are there flights to Washington from New York? Speaker 2. There's one every hour. Now, here are a few conversations about getting to the hotel. Conversation A. What's a good hotel in this town? Speaker 2. 
the Jefferson Hotel is good. Speaker 1, how far is it from here? Speaker 2, it's quite close, about four blocks. Conversation B, Speaker 1, where are you staying? Speaker 2, we are staying at an excellent hotel. Speaker 1, what's the name of the hotel? Speaker 2, the Eastern Hotel. Conversation C. Speaker 1, how long will you be in New York? Speaker 2, I'll be here about two weeks. Speaker 1, where are you going to stay? Speaker 2, I'm going to stay at the Madison Hotel. Conversation D. I would like a single room, please. Speaker 2, do you want a room with a bath? Speaker 1, yes, please. Do you have one? Speaker 2, yes, we have one at $10 a day. Conversation E, I have a reservation for a room here. Speaker 2, yes, you're in room 341 on the third floor. Speaker 1, can I take the elevator over there? Speaker 2, yes, and turn right when you get off the elevator. Now here are a few examples where we can use the same question to ask about different things or different places. Here we go. What's a good restaurant in this town? Instead of restaurant, we can also ask about a jewelry store. That's, what's a good jewelry store in this town? Or a flower shop. What's a good flower shop in this town? Or we can ask about a motel. What's a good motel in this town? Or a barber shop. What's a good barber shop in this town? Or dress shop. What's a good dress shop in this town? Or a clothing store. What's a good clothing store in this town? Instead of town, we can also change it to the city. What's a good restaurant in this city or neighborhood? What's a good restaurant in this neighborhood? Area. What's a good restaurant in this area or district? What's a good restaurant in this district or near here? What's a good restaurant near here? Now, instead of restaurant, we can change it to hardware store. What's a good hardware store in this town? Or area. What's a good hardware store in this area? Or a grocery store. What's a good grocery store in this area? Near here. What's a good grocery store near here? Jewelry store. What's a good jewelry store near here? Here's another example. How far is it from here? Instead, we can also say from here to the hotel. That's how far is it from here to the hotel? Or how many blocks? How many blocks is it from here to the hotel? Or from the station? How many blocks is it from the station to the hotel? How many miles? How many miles is it from the station to the hotel? Or to the next city? How many miles is it from the station to the next city? Here's another example. The statement is, we are staying at an excellent hotel. Instead of staying, we can also use living. We are living at an excellent hotel. Instead of excellent, we can use wonderful. We are living at a wonderful hotel. Instead of hotel, we can also use resort. We are living at a wonderful resort. And instead of living, we can change it to vacationing. That's, we are vacationing at a wonderful resort. Here's another example. How long will you be in New York? Instead of the city name, 
You can also use at the conference or an event. How long will you be at the conference? Or instead of how long, we can also ask how many days. How many days will you be at the conference? And instead of conference, we can also name a country. How many days will you be in Japan? Or instead of how many days, we can also use weeks. How many weeks will you be in Japan? Or instead of Japan, we can also use a boat on the boat. How many weeks will you be on the boat? Now here's another example. I'm going to stay at the Madison Hotel. Instead of I am, we can use we are. We are going to stay at the Madison Hotel. Or we can also say any other hotel's name. Like we are going to stay at the Central Hotel. Instead of we are, we can also use she is. She is going to stay at the Central Motel. Or a friend's house. She is going to stay at a friend's house. Here is another example. Do you want a room with a bath? Instead of with, we can also use without. Do you want a room without a bath? Or instead of want, we can use the word prefer. Do you prefer a room without a bath? Or we can use with two baths. Do you prefer a room with two baths? A suite. Do you prefer a suite with two baths? Instead of do you prefer, we can also ask would you like? Would you like a suite with two baths? Now here is another example. You're in room 341 on the third floor. In this, we can change the room number and even the floor. Like, you're in room 576 on fifth floor. Or you're in room 777 on the seventh floor. Or you're in room 894 on the eighth floor. Or you're in room 1201 on the twelfth floor. Here are a few conversations about finding one's hotel. Conversation A. Speaker 1. Where's the hotel, please? Speaker 2. It's on Main Street. Speaker 1. Where's that? Speaker 2. It's the next street straight ahead. Conversation B. Can you tell me where the hotel is? Speaker 2. It's in the next block. Speaker 1. On this side or on the other side? Speaker 2. This side, straight ahead of you. Conversation C. Speaker 1. I want to go to the Beachside Hotel. Speaker 2. Do you have a map? Speaker 1. Yes, I do. Here it is. Speaker 2. The hotel is right there at the intersection. Conversation D. Speaker 1. Excuse me, I'm lost. Speaker 2. Where do you live? Speaker 1. I live at the Royal Hotel. Speaker 2. The Royal Hotel is two blocks that way. Conversation E. Speaker 1. Can you help me please? Speaker 2. What's the matter? Speaker 1. Where is the Grand Hotel on this map? Speaker 2. It's right here right next to the train station. Now here are a few questions or a few statements which can be used to ask about different things. For example, where's the hotel please? Instead of hotel, we can ask about any other place, like the drugstore. Where's the drugstore please? Or the post office. Where's the post office please? Or the police station. Where's the police station, please? Or the library. Where's the library, please? Or the center of town. Where's the center of town, please? 
Here's another example. It's the next street straight ahead. Instead of next, we can use first. It's the first street straight ahead or second. It's the second street straight ahead or third. It's the third street straight ahead or fourth. It's the fourth street straight ahead or fifth. It's the fifth street straight ahead. Another example. It's straight ahead. Instead of straight ahead, we can also use a different direction, like around the corner. It's around the corner. Or it's two blocks from here. Or it's past the post office. Or it's near the library. Or it's right after the spotlight. Now here are a few questions that can be asked differently. Where's the hotel? This can be asked as, can you tell me where the hotel is? Where's the drugstore? Can you tell me where the drugstore is? Where's the post office? Can you tell me where the post office is? Where's the police station? Can you tell me where the police station is? Where's the library? Can you tell me where the library is? Or where is the center of town? Can you tell me where the center of town is? Here is another example. The hotel is in the next block. Instead of next block, we can also use a different location. Like on the main street. The hotel is on main street. Or near the police station. The hotel is near the police station or across the street. The hotel is across the street or three blocks away. The hotel is three blocks away or at the intersection. The hotel is at the intersection or by the post office. The hotel is by the post office or on Park Avenue. The hotel is on Park Avenue. Another example, I want to go to Beachside Hotel. Instead of Beachside Hotel, we can also ask about a different location, like the Central Drugstore. I want to go to the Central Drugstore or the Memorial Library. I want to go to the Memorial Library or Penny's Department Store. I want to go to the Penny's Department Store or the Park Avenue Pharmacy. I want to go to the Park Avenue Pharmacy or the JF Kennedy Airport. I want to go to the JF Kennedy Airport. Here is another example. The Royal Hotel is two blocks that way. Instead of two blocks we can say half a block. The Royal Hotel is half a block that way or several blocks. The Royal Hotel is several blocks that way or about 10 blocks. The Royal Hotel is about 10 blocks that way or some distance. The Royal Hotel is some distance that way or five minutes walk. The Royal Hotel is a five minutes walk that way or down the street. The Royal Hotel is two blocks down the street, up the street. The Royal Hotel is two blocks up the street or in that direction. The Royal Hotel is two blocks in that direction or past the intersection. The Royal Hotel is two blocks past the intersection or the other way. The Royal Hotel is two blocks the other way or north of here. The Royal Hotel is two blocks north of here or several blocks. The Royal Hotel is several blocks that way or up the street. The Royal Hotel is several blocks up the street about 10 blocks. The Royal Hotel is about 
10 blocks up the street or in that direction. The Royal Hotel is about 10 blocks in that direction or a five minutes walk. The Royal Hotel is a five minutes walk in that direction. Here's another example. Where's the Grand Hotel on this map? Instead of the hotel, we can use a different place, like the Central Drug Store. Where's the Central Drug Store on this map? Or the Memorial Library. Where's the Memorial Library on this map? Or the Main Street. Where's the Main Street on this map? Or the Madison Motel. Where's the Madison Motel on this map? Or the Greenwood Park. Where's Greenwood Park on this map? Here are a few conversations about asking directions. Conversation A. Speaker 1. Where's the airline's office? Speaker 2. It's near the bus terminal, the central terminal. Speaker 1. How far is that from here? Speaker 2. About half a mile, I think. Conversation B. Speaker 1. Where is the post office? Speaker 2. It's three blocks that way. Speaker 1. What did you say? Speaker 2. Three blocks up that street. Conversation C. Where is the airport? Speaker 2. It's north of the city. Speaker 1. What's the best way to get there? Speaker 2. Take Highway 15 to the north. Conversation D. Speaker 1. What street is the local library on? Speaker 2. I don't know. Speaker 1. How can I find out? Speaker 2. Why don't you ask a policeman? Conversation E. Speaker 1. Where is the nearest telephone? Speaker 2. There is one in that drugstore. Speaker 1. Do you mean that store over there? Speaker 2. Yes. That's the one. Now here are a few examples how some questions and the statements can be answered or asked differently. Here's the first one. Where's the airline's office? Instead of airline's office, we can ask about the bus terminal. Where's the bus terminal? Or the train station? Where's the train station? Or the airport? Where's the airport? Or the local library? Where's the local library? Or the nearest hospital? Where's the nearest hospital? Or the next bus stop? Where's the next bus stop? Now, another example. It's about a half a mile from here. Instead of half a mile, we can use a quarter of a mile. It's about a, a quarter of a mile from here. Or three quarters of a mile. It's about a three quarters of a mile from here. Or two miles. It's about two miles from here. Or two and a half miles. It's about two and a half miles from here. Or a little over three kilometers. It's a little over three kilometers from here. Here's another example. What street is the local library on? Instead of local library, we can ask about the post office. What street is the post office on? Or the police station. What street is the police station on? Or the bus depot. What street is the bus depot on? Or the fire department. What street is the fire department on? Or the nearest drugstore. What street is the nearest drugstore on? Or the closest bus stop. What street is the closest bus stop on? Another example. 
How can I find out? Instead of find out, we can ask find that address. How can I find that address? Or get that address. How can I get that address? Or look up his address. How can I look up his address? Or locate the library. How can I locate the library? Or get to the library. How can I get to the library? Here's another example. How can I find out? Instead of find out, we can use where it is. How can I find out where it is? Or where it's located? How can I find out where it's located? Or what street it's on? How can I find out what street it's on? Or what district it's in? How can I find out what district it's in? Or what part of the city it's in? How can I find out what part of the city it's in? Or what area it's in? How can I find out what area it's in? Now here are a few questions that can be asked differently. Where is it? How can I find out where it is? Where is the post office? How can I find out where the post office is? Where is it located? How can I find out where it's located? What street is it on? How can I find out what street it's on? What street is the library on? How can I find out what street the library is on? What district is it in? How can I find out what district it's in? Another example, why don't you ask a policeman? Instead of policeman, we can say your friend. Why don't you ask your friend or that man over there? Why don't you ask that man over there or the bus driver? Why don't you ask the bus driver or someone else? Why don't you ask someone else or the owner of that store? Why don't you ask the owner of that store or the conductor? Why don't you ask the conductor? Here's another example. Where's the nearest telephone? Instead of telephone, we can ask for a different place like drugstore. Where's the nearest drugstore or the clothing store? Where's the nearest clothing store or grocery store? Where's the nearest grocery store or flower shop? Where's the nearest flower shop or dress shop? Where's the nearest dress shop? Another example, there's one in that drugstore. Instead of that, we can use near the drugstore. There's one near the drugstore or in the hotel lobby. There's one in the hotel lobby or on the second floor. There's one on the second floor or down the hallway. There's one down the hallway or on the table over there. There's one on the table over there. Another example. Do you mean that store over there instead of over there? We can say across the street. Do you mean that store across the street or next to the train station? Do you mean that store next to the train station or on the corner? Do you mean that store on the corner or opposite the airline's office? Do you mean that store opposite the airline's office or a block down the street? Do you mean that store a block down the street?